Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration B 2022, number 19. We've got the integral of x squared times sine ln x dx. Now, I just did this problem recently, a few days back. So there was an interesting suggestion in the comments. Sorry, I can't pronounce your name, but it was a really good idea to use the complex method on this with Euler's formula. I know I've done this multiple times on the channel. I'm not sure if I've ever done it though with an ln x, I think maybe once. And that part of it's actually interesting because it actually, even though it looks more complicated, it's actually, I think, gonna make it simpler. So to get started for Euler's formula, what we have is e to the i x is just gonna be the same thing as cosine x plus i sine x. So first, just thinking about sine, if we look at this as a complex number in the form a plus bi or ib, well then on eix, the imaginary part of eix, that's just gonna be this piece right here. This is just gonna be sine x. Now trying to use this on our problem, the input's not x, it's ln x. Well, that's no problem as we can just kind of input that everywhere. So we're looking at ei ln x. This is gonna be the same thing as cosine ln x plus i sine ln x. Again, if we get the imaginary part on this, the imaginary part of ei, sorry, ln x right here, the imaginary part's just gonna be this, so it's gonna be sine ln x. That's exactly the thing up there we wanna use. But now this part's really useful. For ei ln x with log properties, I can rearrange it like this, right? So if i is in the exponent, you multiply it back and you get this. But e to the ln x, you can think of it almost like this cancels out, and this is the same thing as just x to the i. So the value we're gonna to wanna to use when we go back to our integral is just gonna be for this imaginary part of x to the i. So in order to do this, let's just take this and we'll throw it back into our integral and let's see what we have. Okay, so now we'll go ahead with this integral and at the end, we're just gonna want the imaginary part of the whole thing in order to get back to our solution. Now, the reason this works out so nice is we've got, now it's the same base. So we can kind of just put these together and write this, it's gonna be now just adding exponents, x to the two plus i. So then doing this, we're gonna end up with x to the three plus i over three plus i. Now at this point, we wanna figure out what's the imaginary part, what's the real part, and it's not easy to see right now. The first thing I wanna do is let's, here, let's move this and I can rationalize this denominator. I can multiply in three minus i, three minus i. Now, when you multiply this out, you're gonna get three times three is nine minus i squared. i squared is minus one, so this value is just 10. So what we have here is a one over 10 that's strictly real that I can bring outside of this whole expression. So we're the whole thing we're gonna have times this expression here. Now for x to the three plus i, I can break this up again, put it back on the way we had it over here. And so x to the three plus i, I can write as, as x cubed times x to the i. But then again, x cubed is gonna be strictly real. And I can take this outside of the expression and bring it over here. And then for x to the i, I just wanna put that back to the way we had it. Remember, this was the same thing as ei ln x. And then this was the same thing using Euler's formula as cosine ln x plus i sine ln x. So now at this point, just notice that even though we only want the imaginary part, I can't just throw this back in here and ignore this because we still have to multiply it times this other part and see what happens. So let's take this and we'll plug it all in for x to the i and then we can multiply it out. And so now to finish it, we will distribute it all out. So we're gonna have three times cosine ln x for the first part. Then I'll have minus i cosine ln x, then plus three i sine ln x, and then minus i times i sine ln x. Well, the i squared becomes a minus one, minus times minus is plus, and so this becomes plus sine ln x. But now I think we're ready to use this part here. We have some stuff that's just real, three cosine ln x, real, that's going away sine ln x, this is real. Of course, you could factor this out, but it's pretty easy to see that what we're gonna be left with for our imaginary part is gonna be three sine ln x minus cosine ln x. So let's just clean it up. So for the final solution, we have x cubed over 10 times three 
sine ln x minus cosine ln x, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you go. Nice problem, complexifying the integral. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.